Okay, let's start having some fun with some PHP variables. So a PHP variable is simply enough a container to store a value. So let's go ahead and create our first PHP variable. So to create a PHP variable, we'll start it off with the dollar sign, and then you will add the name of the variable. So in this case, I'm just going to name the variable name, and I'm going to assign the value of Tony inside of this variable. So now what I can do is I can echo out the name. And if I were to reload this page, you can see that we get the printout of Tony. I could then go back here and change the value of the name variable to be Bob. And we would expect if we reload the page, now we have echoed out the variable name, and that is Bob. So now let's say that we want to add a string together. So what we could do is actually, we can put in a string that says hello there, and then we want to concatenate the string together with the dot symbol. So if I do that and I reload, you can see now that we get the message, hello there, Bob. So this is a quick example of the string variable, and there are four other variables that we're going to learn about. So this is the string variable. And what I've done right here is pretty new. This is called a PHP comment. So this is a single line comment. So you can add slash slash, and then you can add any text after this, and it will not get executed. So this is simply for the developer to leave themselves some notes. Okay, so that is the string variable. Let's say that we want to create an integer variable. So we could do that just by creating a new variable, and I can call this anything I want. I can call this num1, call this number1. I could call the variable anything I want. You then have to reference it with the same name. So I'm just going to call this num1 and assign the value of 5. So if I save that and I reload and I echo out the variable, we get the value of 5. So let me go ahead and create another integer variable. And I'm going to assign the value of 10. And now we can actually do some arithmetic and add these two numbers together. So I could say num1 plus num2. And if I reload, we get the value of 15. So the great thing about PHP is that we have non-strict variables. In a lot of languages, you have to specify if this is going to be a string variable, if it's going to be an integer variable, if it's going to be a character variable. But PHP has non-strict variables, so we can just assign the value and it just works. Okay, let's go over another variable, and this is called a float. So a float is also referred to as a double, and it allows you to add decimals to your numbers. So I can say num2 is equal to 10.5. And now if I were to reload this page, you can see that we had 5 plus 10.5, and the output gives us 15.5. Okay, so two more variables that we're going to cover. The next one is called a boolean value, and this is simply a value that is either true or false. So we can say that this variable name is going to be is cool, and we can set that to true. So if we were to echo out this variable and we reload, we get the value of 1. So a boolean value is either true or false, or 1 or 0. And lastly, we're going to talk about the null value. So we can assign a value to a variable, which is called null. And this is not zero. It's essentially setting the variable to invalid or to not have a value. So this will come a lot more clear as to why we may want to use this in future videos. But for now, you just need to know that we can set a variable equal to the value of null. So these are the basic variable types. We will also learn one more variable type in the next video, which is called an array. But for now, I would recommend just playing around with these variables and having a little fun. Okay, that wraps up this video. I hope you're enjoying some programming in PHP, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for checking out this PHP Basics video series. Uh, I hope you follow me on Twitter, at T-N-Y-L-E-A. And if you're interested in moving on to the next video, go ahead and click right up here. And if you want to check out my latest course called SAS Adventure, be sure to click right there and it will teach you how to create your own profitable software as a service. But that's it for now. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.